In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, a problem which is related to Fourier series analysis. I'll just read the statement. Find the trigonometric Fourier series for the periodic signal x of t shown in figure. This is actually a triangular uh, waveform with uh, time period t is equal to 2. So, we are going to consider only one portion of the signal starting from minus 1 to plus 1 minus 1 to plus 1 and t is equal to minus that is the uh, time period t is equal to minus t is equal to 2 ok. So, uh, time period t is equal to 2 means uh, the angular frequency omega naught is equal to 2 pi pi capital T which is equal to 2 pi pi 2 is pi so angular frequency is pi. And during this interval that is minus 1 to plus 1, this is the RAM function. When t increases, x of t is, will also increase. So, it is a RAM function. So, we are going to consider x of t is equal to t to solve the problem. Okay, we are going to consider only one time period. Using this one time period, we are going to solve the problem and we are going to find the Fourier series coefficient for this particular waveform. Here this is a, a periodic signal starting from minus into plus infinity, minus into plus infinity and we have considered only a small portion of the signal. So this is a Fourier series coefficient x of t is equal to a naught plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t ok. Now we need to find out a naught a n and b n. So the formula to find out a naught is a naught is equal to 1 by t integration over t naught to t naught plus t x of t into dt. So if the t naught is the a lower limit and a t naught plus t is the upper limit. So we are we have considered minus 1 to plus 1. So I am just replacing t naught to t naught plus 1 to minus 1 to plus 1 and the time during time period t capital T is equal to 2. So 1 by 2 integration minus 1 to plus 1 t in the dt. So when you are integrating this you will get 1 is equal to minus uh, 1 by 2 t square by 2 and upper and lower limit is 1 and minus 1. You have to substitute upper and lower limit and get the answer. So, when you are sub substituting, you will get 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, a naught is equal to 0. Now, we are going to determine a n. The formula to find out a n, a n is a n is equal to 2 by t integration over t naught to t naught plus t x of t cos n omega naught t in the dt. Now, you have to substitute the value of x of t in this equation t in t and also t naught t naught plus t. So, t is 2 capital T is 2 so 2 by 2 integration minus 1 to plus 2 minus 1 to plus 1 t in the cos n sigma naught uh, sorry omega naught value is 2. Omega naught value is 2 by pi 2, it is actually pi. So, a n is equal to 2 pi 2 integration over minus 1 to 1 t in the cos n pi t in the dt. Here, uh, actually, we have two different variables in this integration one is t and cos n pi t. So, if you come across this kind of uh, problem we have to use this formula integration integration u d v is equal to u v minus integration v d u ok. This formula we have to use to solve this kind of integration. So, first I am considering u is equal to t. So, this t so I am considering u is equal to t and I am finding d and I am considering cos n pi t in the dt as dv. So, cos n pi t in the dt is equal to dv. 
when i am integrating this dv is equal to cos n pi t into dt i get so integration of dv is v which is equal to when i am integrating cos n pi t the result is sin n pi t by n pi so we have u and v u is t and v is sin n pi t by n pi so first term is u into v so i am finding u into v so t into sin n pi t by n pi now we have to find out uh, integration v du so integration v du is equal to v i v already determined v is equal to sin n pi t by n pi okay in the du so when you are differentiating u is equal to t when you are differentiating this equation you will get du is equal to dt so integration v du is equal to integration sin n pi t by n pi into dt so n pi is constant and when you are integrating sin n pi the result is minus cos n pi so the integration is equal to minus 1 pi n pi cos n pi t by n pi so this is the result and when you are multiplying these two things you will get minus cos n pi t by n square pi square so we are going to substitute uh, these two values that is uv and integration v du here to find out the results so this integration result 2 to cancel 2 to cancel so we are going to substitute the quantity which we have already determined so integration result is t into sin n pi t by n pi so this one and the next term is this one cos n pi t by n square in, into pi square okay here the sin plus sin is here because the formula we have minus and also we have another minus minus into minus plus now we have to substitute upper and lower limit upper limit is 1 and lower limit is minus 1 so i am separating this sum into two different uh, thing so first one is t into sin n pi t by n pi upper and lower limit is 1 into minus 1 plus cos n pi t pi n square pi square 1 and minus 1 first we are substituting upper limit so upper limit is 1 1 into sin n pi by n pi minus minus 1 lower limit is minus 1 minus 1 into sin minus n pi by n pi plus cos n pi so upper limit is 1 cos n pi by n square pi square minus cos minus n pi by n square into pi square here sin pi is 0 sin minus pi is also 0 cos n pi is 1 and for all values of n and cos minus n pi is also 1 for all values of cos n pi minus n pi is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 this this term the first term already is 0 the second term second term is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so a in is also is equal to 0 now we are going to determine bn bn formula is bn is equal to 2 by t integration t naught to t naught plus 1 x of t sin n omega naught t into dt substitute t t, t is equal to 2 so 2 by t 2 by uh, 2 integration over upper and lower limit 1 minus 1 to plus 1 t into sin n pi t into dt here also we have two terms t and sin pi t the same formula integration u dv is equal to uv minus integration v du first we are going to consider u is equal to t then du is equal to dt there is no other uh, there is no problem du is equal to d d dt okay now we are going to find out dv dv we are going to consider 
the the rest of the term the sin n pi t into dt so sin dv is equal to sin n pi t into dt now we are going to integrate both side when we are integrating uh, this dv you you get v and now when we are integrating sin n pi t you get minus cos n pi t by n pi so result is so we have to find out two terms one is uv and also integration v du so uv is equal to u already determined u is equal to t v is nothing but minus cos n pi t by n pi so the result is uv is equal to minus t divided by n pi cos n pi t now we have to determine integration v du so we have already determined v so cos v is equal to cos n pi t you substitute this equation here okay integration minus cos n pi t by n pi into dt so integration of cos n pi t is sin n pi t the result is minus sin n pi t by n square pi square now we have to substitute these two terms to find out bn bn is equal to first is uv uv is here this term is uv and then plus sorry minus integration minus integration v du integration v du this one okay now when you are substituting it and then you have to you have to uh, sub, uh, uh, substitute upper and lower limit okay upper and lower limit you get so here um, when you are substituting upper and lower limit you get bn is equal to you take this minus outside t is equal to 1 so 1 pi n pi cos n pi minus the lower limit is minus 1 minus 1 pi n pi cos minus n pi and the second term so here minus is there my take minus outside okay you will get you it will become plus 1 by n square pi square sin n pi this is upper limit lower limit is minus 1 by n square pi square sin minus n pi so already we can we know that uh, sin pi is 0 so whatever may be the situation whatever may be the values of uh, n sin n pi will become 0 as well as uh, this term sin minus n pi is also 0 the only term is the the term which is related to cos n pi so cos n pi is 1 and cos minus n pi is also 1 that we have to discuss now so bn is equal to minus 1 pi n pi cos n pi plus 1 pi n pi cos n pi so here we have two term minus of minus is plus so here minus minus of minus minus or uh, minus into minus is plus okay so bn is equal to minus 1 pi n pi cos n pi plus 1 pi n pi cos n pi when you are adding these two things you will get minus 2 n pi cos n pi so cos n pi is uh, actually uh, for for odd and even values we have to discuss where when you are substituting even values cos n pi will become 1 and odd values cos n pi become minus 1 so i am generalizing this equation like 2 pi pi minus of minus 1 power n pi n okay so i am generally simply generalizing this cos n pi into minus 1 power n okay so this is the value of bn okay nothing uh, this is the value of bn and we are going to substitute the value of uh, a n a a naught bn in x of t so already we have determined a n is equal to 0 a naught is equal to 0 and we have only bn so x of t is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 2 by pi minus 
of minus 1 power n in divided by n sin n pi t. Okay. So, I simply substitute the value of bn in the x of n, x of t equation to find out the Fourier series coefficient. Now, we have to expand this summation by giving different values to this n. For example, if you are substituting n is equal to 1, when you substitute n is equal to 1, what will happen is uh, uh, minus of minus 1 power 1, minus of minus 1 power n is plus 1. So, and also sin 1 pi t. So, the answer is 2 pi pi sin pi t minus when n is equal to 2. So, minus 1 power 2 is 1 minus 1 power 2 is 1. So, the minus term will come and also we are going to substitute n is equal to 2 here and also 2 here. So, what you will get is 1 by 2 sin 2 pi t plus 1 by 3 sin 3 pi t dash dash dash. That is the sign will change alternatively odd and even minus plus minus plus something like that. So, this is the Fourier series representation of a given periodic signal that is triangular periodic signal. So, in this particular problem the value of a naught and a n is 0 we have only one coefficient b n that we substituted and represented the signal using Fourier series coefficient. Thank you.